Hi, this is Bing. I got this box. Uh, I call it the Rancis box. It's essentially an isolation shield or isolation box. And I got this from a sax player named Rancis de Leon. And he's selling this, um, well, he's, he's selling this over the Facebook marketplace. And I picked it up because I needed, I wanted to get a box, a box uh, to record. Um, you know, I, I had an isolation shield with those half moon things, except that, you know, I didn't know how to use it properly or it just wasn't working. So I thought that if I could get something that would, that would at least cover most of where I would be speaking to, where I would be projecting my voice to, then at least my voice would stay there and it couldn't, and you couldn't, well, I couldn't pick up then a lot of ambient noise. Really what I've been forced to do over the past, you know, several months, so, well, actually more, this was even before the pandemic, I have a studio, I have a home studio, which, you know, as, as you could probably see, there's a window, so this is not acoustically treated. I envy those of you who have, you know, your setups uh, with all with all of that, you know, I just, you know, I just don't have one. So how do I make do? I've been making do with, you know, getting, well, I've been making do by using dynamic mics and uh, based on the recommendation or the great reviews coming in from uh, one of the guys I look up to on, on YouTube, Booth Junkie, Mike Delgadio, I picked up this baby, this uh, the Stealth. And I, and I love it. But, you know, still, I would like to record using this guy. Uh, it sounds good. It, it, it's, it's a different sound. And I just thought I, I wanted to use it again. So how do you use a condenser mic in a room like mine, in a place like mine? So there you go. Hence this thing. I actually thought it, it, well, it did lessen a lot of the noise. And I'll show you how. Uh, just right now. So we're running all of the, well, both of these mics are running into a Rode Procaster. Uh, sorry, a Rodecaster Pro rather. And let me just switch off the Stealth and move over to the KSM32, the Shure KSM32. Hang on. All right, we're going to record right now. And because I have a shortage of material, I'm going to do something from grade school. This is the flies and the ants. Okay. So this is how they recommend, how Rance recommends we use it. Okay. Fix it up over there. So you saw that. Twisting it out now. We even did some modifications. I've got, I've got a, you know, I've got, I've got an old shirt there, which I, and I, which I just wrap around because it's the tropics. You know, not too much dust. So I put on a shirt over this. So here we go. Let's try it out. The flies and the ants. An army of flies appeared one day in the ant village where all the ants play. What do you think? All right. Well, I also like to come in a bit closer, so I was experimenting with using this closer to the foam. So here we go. An army of flies appeared one day in the ant village where all the ants play. All right. Now... Because it's set in the middle, you can actually twist it around further. There you go. And record with a mic really further away. And I don't know, because I'm not, you know, an acoustic guy. But let's see what it makes a difference. An army of flies appeared one day in the ant village where all the ants play. All right. Uh-huh. So now, you tell me, is this working or not? I actually like it. I, I think it does help dead, deaden some of, the, some of the noise, the ambient noise. So you heard the doorbell earlier, a while ago. Um, my brother's car came in. So, you know, the car, the honk, that obviously you cannot get rid of. But, you know, some of the other stuff. Uh, it helps. It's not gonna, you know, make it magically go away, but it helps. It certainly does. Now, the only thing which I wish I could do here is, you know, 
have enough space, have more space, so I can read the text, so I can read copy. The thing is, right now, when I put my face into something like this, I can't, you know, read a thing. So I'd have to get, you know, I have, I have to know my lines from memory, or cheat and you know, look down and then look up, look down, look up. That was what I did in, uh, well, in an audition, which I didn't pass. But hey, you know, that's life. Uh, and that's how I did it. But, you know, otherwise, you know, this, is act this actually works. And uh, congratulations, Francis. Looking forward to you know, just a few more innovations. I think we could do something more with, with the wedges or, you know, spend more on the foam and get, get better treatment on it. Otherwise, I actually like it. And, and for the price, uh, it's actually pretty good.